Anyway, guys, let's talk about last night's episode of Scandal. Yeah, you guys, I am not quite sure how I feel about that ending, and I can't wait to hear what you guys thought about it. There was a lot that happened in this episode. I felt like there were a lot of seeds planted, so a lot of foreshadowing for what's to come. So let's talk about the case of the week. Um, Olivia basically takes on Josie Marcus. Josie Marcus is Lisa Kudrow's character, and of course, last week we learned that she had a kid when she was 15, and so she's got this scandal that's kind of starting to brew, and so she she calls in Olivia Pope. Olivia sends OPA out of the office and boy was that interesting to kind of see them on a road trip. It was it was kind of funny. And they go digging in this little small town and I will say you guys I was shocked when we finally figure out that this long lost daughter that she gave up for adoption is actually her sister. I was not expecting that. Let's talk about Sally Langston you guys because obviously Sally's getting ready to do something very underhanded. At the beginning of the episode we see Cyrus and Melly trying to hire this guy this man named Leo to run Fitz's re-election campaign. But Leo tells them, look, President Grant is not gonna win re-election. I don't work for losers, so no thank you. By the end of the episode, we see Sally Langston meeting this guy, Leo, in the men's room so that she can get him to run her campaign for president. We get that Sally Langston is going to run as an independent. So that should be very, very interesting. One of my favorite scenes this week was the scene between Melly and Olivia. So first let's talk about the phone conversation between Olitz. Um, Olivia, of course, has this secret Fitz phone that rings from time to time. And there's a point in the episode where you get that she's realizing how tied she is to that, that she has become that woman that is sitting by the phone waiting for it to ring. And so she tries to pretend like she's in control and she tosses the phone in the trash at one point. But of course, when she's sitting in her office one night, drinking some wine, drinking lots of wine, that phone rings in that trash can and Olivia Pope gets down on her knees and digs through that can like there are diamonds at the bottom. I just love that moment, you guys, because it was so honest. You know, like she thought she was the one in charge. Like I threw the phone away, like I just Decide when I want to talk to him. That phone ring and that girl was like, let me get that. I love that scene too between the two of them, right? On the phone. And they have this really comfortable back and forth with one another. And the silence, you guys. I, that's what I love about the two of them as actors as well. They use that silence so well. And it's like, there's so much kind of meaning and depth, even just in the moments when they're not talking. It's like even all of the unspoken things between them are so powerful that it's just, it's just kind of crazy. So Fitz has gone into the bathroom to have this conversation with Olivia on the secret phone and by the end of the scene we get that Melly is listening at the door and that leads us into my really favorite scene of this episode and that's the scene between Melly and Olivia at the White House Correspondents Dinner where basically Melly lays it all out and tells Olivia I want you to come back to run Fitz's re-election campaign and she admits that Olivia is what Fitz needs and not just in terms of winning re-election but in terms of like survival like he can't breathe without you he can't think without you you are what he needs I just had to give it up for Melly because we know that Melly will do what she needs to to do to stay in power. I mean, how do you get to the point as a wife where you can admit that there's someone else that your husband needs? That's a lot. That is a lot. And you guys, for maybe for maybe a millisecond, I actually even felt bad for Melly, but you know, I'm sure she's planning something dastardly, so I guess we'll see. Let's talk about Quinn for a moment. This woman, you guys. So everybody at OPA knows about her whole drill baby drill moment, and so they're kind of sidelining her and she doesn't love that. By the end of the episode, this woman has purchased a handgun. Who thinks this is going to end well? Raise your hands out there. No one. No one is raising their hands because this is not going to end well. You know she's going to end up shooting someone or herself in the foot. So I guess we'll see where that goes. Okay, and let's talk about the big reveal at the end. We finally learn a little bit more about Operation Remington and I just don't know how I feel about it. Basically, Huck and Jake have been working together. They do some digging and they find out that Fitz actually shot down a passenger plane full of people um, on behalf of the U.S. government. The big reveal, though, was that one of the passengers on the plane was Olivia Pope's mother. So if it's true, if Fitz actually did this, then Fitz killed Olivia's mother. Really, scandal writers? Really? I mean, like, I just don't know how I feel about it. First of all, I mean, I think we can't automatically assume that that is absolutely the truth because we don't know that yet, right? I get that they have to put obstacles in the way of Olitz. You know, I get that. They gotta slow it down because you got these two people that are so passionate but they can't be together and that's kind of the draw 
straw of scandal. Like I said though, we don't absolutely 100% know that that's the case. We don't know fully what Operation Remington is about. Right now, this is just Huck's theory about what happened, but they believe in it enough that we see them at the end of the episode going to see Olivia. So we get that they're going to tell her this. Why couldn't Edison be flying the plane? You know, Operation Remington, where is Edison? Let's bring him back for that. I don't know you guys, I was kind of annoyed by it, but at the same time, I also know that Scandal is kind of twisty and turny. So fingers crossed that there's something else going on with Operation Remington that we just don't know about yet. As always, you guys, I of course want to know what you think about all of this business. Make sure you tell me down in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.